नमस्कार आप सभी का स्वागत है मैं हूं राहुल और आप देख रहे हैं ई विद्या चैनल्स और एन का ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज आर स्पेशल सेशन अ वेरी स्पेशल सीरीज आई मस्ट से वी आर कंडक्टिंग इन द एंटायर वीक दिस इज द डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन ऑफ वर्चुअल लैब एक्सपेरिमेंट्स ऑन दीक्षा एंड ई पाठशाला ऑगमेंटेड रियलिटी कॉन्टेंट ए आर कॉन्टेंट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टूडे वी हैव फोर पैनलिस्ट इन टूडेज वेबिनार वन इज in the studio with us uh, dr yash paul sharma from ciet ncert uh, he is the academic consultant sir namaskar and a very namaskar, warm welcome in the session uh, thank you very much for being with us uh, for this wonderful session and i must say augmented reality is a very uh, beneficial aspect uh, for the students and the entire uh, i think uh, educational fraternity so we will explore some experiments today uh, uh, in today's session we have uh, three more panelists from the amrita university uh the names are as follows ms amrita surya uh, biology subject matter expert and uh, ms anakha s chemistry uh, subject matter expert and mr hari haran biology uh, sist, uh, subject matter expert so these people uh, will be with us for the next 60 minutes so please be with us for all your questions and queries let's begin this session with uh, with dr yash paul hamare uh, sath aap studio mein hi hain dr sharma uh, kaise hum shuru karenge hamari aaj ki jo uh, webinar series ka aaj dusra session hai in this entire week we are going to discuss uh, augmented reality aaj kya khaas karne wale hain thank you thank you rahul ji very much so <clears throat> today we will be demonstrating some more resources Uh, that ncert has developed in uh, uh, augmented reality and we have the e pathshala augmented reality app e pathshala is our branding name we have many apps under this uh, branding name and e pathshala ar is one among them hmm. okay so first we will see that how you can take this app from the internet so let me share my screen Okay, so first you should go to the uh, Play Store. Okay, on your mobile phone, and uh, in your mobile phone, you <coughs> in Play Store you will find out that uh, e-partial. You type the e-partial AR. Okay, so when you are typing over there, you will find the e-partial AR app and install the app on your mobile phone. So this app is currently available for Android users and uh, any Android phone having the version above. 4.1 so it will be available in uh, on the mobile phones uh, so you can download this app in the mobile phone we have aligned the content of this augmented reality along with the ncert textbooks so currently the content is available for class 9th and 10th so <coughs> the app has a very simple menu say for example you are choosing any concept from the so let me repeat my steps you are able to see my mobile phone on the screen yes we can see so go to the play store okay and type e pathshala ar okay so this is the app so here you you can install your app as i have already installed so it says to open so okay. this is the app where uh, we are performing the experiment okay, okay. so <coughs> the app has a very simple menu but before starting this let me tell you um, <coughs> that what is augmented reality basically hmm. so for example we are going to teach a concept hmm. okay right sir and with the help of some 3d software simulations mm. and sensors that concept is being augmented and presented to the user in their own environment okay, okay. so say for example if i am going to proceed with the the simulation of augmented reality mm. content so you will see that all these content will be part of my environment and it is available on my mobile phone and you can also see the background Mm -hmm. whatever say for example this textbook you are able to see the textbooks okay. and a live simulation that i can perform on my uh, mobile phone so this is okay. what we call the simplest definition as far as education is concerned for the um, augmented reality okay. okay so let's start with the so 
So we have this app. It has very simple menu that you can choose the class. So currently, as I said, that we are developing the content for class 9th and 10th. It's available in this app. And uh, among science, I will be demonstrating from the, the for example, uh, the chapter 7 this time. Okay. So hmm. it's a diversity of living organisms. And within that, we have the one simulation belongs to the bacteria or monera. So let's go to the activity. Once the activity will be uploaded, it's a about 5 MB simulation. Till then, I will be opening my textbook. Okay. <clears throat> As I said that the content is aligned with the textbook. So you will see that this is the class 9th. The same I have chosen on my mobile app. So the chapter was 7, the diversity in living organisms, which is in page number 80. So I think it's a same. So the concept was 7.1. So this is a very peculiar feature. When we open any <coughs> augmented reality app, okay. the camera will automatically be open. You can see the camera is open. You are able to see my textbook through my camera also, mobile phone. Now I need to scan this image. Okay, so once I scan this image, the concept will be live. Let us see the important characteristic of the Monera Kingdom. Click on the highlighted continue button to continue. Okay, so as I said, the definition of augmented reality that I'm going to teach the concept of this Monera, the bacteria and this simulation uh, with the help of some 3D simulations and software, this concept is being augmented and presented to the user in their own environment. Mm. Now, this bacteria is a part of my environment. You can see my hand is there. Okay. Right. So, uh, <clears throat> you need to scan only once. So, now we have put one AR camera over here. If you've seen on my screen. So, we have the AR camera. So, mm. if I click on this AR camera, you know, the background will be, you know, uh, all right. hindrance will be removed. No, you can perform your uh, simulation seamlessly. So this is a very uh, interactive and 3D structure. You can move it to any side to see the structure of bacteria. You wow. can zoom in, you can zoom out. Okay. So, and follow the instructions. So it says that to continue hmm. to have this one conversation. Monera kingdom. Monera kingdom includes Archaebacteria, Eubacteria and Cyanobacteria. They are microscopic, unicellular, and prokaryotic organisms. Click on bacteria. Bacteria do not have a nucleus. They are found in hot springs, snow, deep oceans, or as parasites in other organisms. Click on the highlighted cell wall of bacteria. Bacteria have a rigid cell wall which protects and gives shape to the cell. Click on the highlighted continue button to contain pili of bacteria. Bacteria's pili are short and thin, thread-like tubular structures projecting out from the cell wall. Click on the highlighted flagella of bacteria. Bacteria move with the help of one or more flagella. Flagella are longer and thicker than pili. Click on plasma membrane of bacteria. The plasma membrane present below the cell wall encloses the cytoplasm and other cell contents. DNA of bacteria. One circular chromosome made of a double helical molecule of DNA is located in a region of the cytoplasm called a nucleoid mode of nutrition the organisms belonging to this group are either autotrophs produce their own food or heterotrophs consume the food from the environment example bacteria anabina click learning outcomes we can explain structure of a bacteria munira we can classify bacteria and anubina based on their characteristics. So you have seen that normally we see this structure of bacteria mm -hmm. in a 2D uh, image. Mm -hmm. So here you will have the 3D and interactive structure of the bacteria right. where you can actually see from any side within a single right. glimpse of the bacteria. It was very interactive and very uh, engaging content I must say. So now I will be exp uh, explaining one more concept. Mm -hmm. So for example, 
Now we will take one concept from the class 10. Okay. And the chapter I am uh, taking this time is the chapter 10. Okay. So let us have, uh, because uh, uh, we have different simulation, so let us have the first simulation. This is a figure number 10.3. So, we need to load this activity. Till that time it is loading, uh, I am just opening my textbook, okay, because the same I need to scan uh, from the textbook. So, chapter number 10, light reflection and refraction and the image is 10.3. Uh, so, our simulation is downloaded and now you see that as I said earlier, the camera is automatically open. Now, I need to scan this image learning objective so i need to, to scan once an and uh, here is the ar camera you click on it to remove the background hindrances parallel to the principal axis in spherical mirrors click on the continue button to cont ray of light a ray is a path of a light wave represented by a line with an arrow the arrow indicates the direction in which light is traveling beam of light. A bundle of rays of light is called a beam of light. Principal axis. It is a line passing through the center of curvature C and pole P of the mirror. Since click on any button from the side panel to learn more about it. So here we can perform the two activities. One is relevant to the convex mirror and another is the concave mirror. So, let us perform with the concave mirror first. Concave mirror. Click on the highlighted button to make a ray incident parallel to the principal axis. Drag the slider to set the black screen where it gets the image of the reflected rays of light. So, we can drag the slider to see where image will be formed. Now, we can perform the activity with convex mirror. Convex mirror. Click on the highlighted button to make a ray incident parallel to the principal axis. Convex mirror. A beam of light is incident parallel to the principal axis on a convex mirror. After reflection, a virtual, erect and highly diminished image appears to be formed at the principal focus of the convex mirror. Click on the continue laws of reflection. 1. The angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. 2. The incident ray the normal to the mirror at the point of incidence and the reflected ray all lie in the same plane. Click on the continue. The real image is always obtained in front of the mirror and the virtual image appears to be behind the mirror. Click on the continue button. Learning outcome. We can observe that a ray parallel to the principal axis after reflection will pass through the principal focus in the case of a concave mirror or appears to diverge from the principal focus in the case of a convex mirror. So here we have seen that we have performed the two simulations relevant to concave and convex mirror. Normally when we see N2D image, so it is very difficult to find out the concave whether it is a concave or it is a convex mirror, but here you can see that it is a uh, 3D object you can see uh, the mirror and accordingly you can see that whether it is a concave or a convex mirror. So, all these resources are very interactive and freely available, you do not need to have any uh, registration for this one, you simply okay. download the app on the play store on your android mobile phone and you can seamlessly perform the various experiment. Right, and this is really, really wonderful. Thank you very much for sharing this information with us. Let's move ahead. We have a team of the Amrita University and they are ready with their simulations as well. So, I would like to invite on screen uh, uh, Ms. 
Amrita Surya, uh, she is the biology subject matter expert and will show you the first simulation from their side. Uh, Ms. Amrita Surya, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the session. Thank you. Good morning to all. Please, okay. you may start. Okay, okay, sir. Okay. Today, I'm going to demonstrate a, a biology experiment and before that, we'll see about uh, virtual labs. So, let me share my screen. Yes, please. So, uh, Dr. Paul, they will uh, be sharing with their uh, own uh, simulations which they have selected as so, far. Yeah. Is, share is, is my screen is visible? Yes. Yes, uh, we can see. Yeah. So, now type uh, in the URL, you can type uh, Diksha Virtual Labs. Click on it. It leads to the Diksha portal. Just a minute. Sorry for the interruption. Okay, this is a Diksha portal, and in Diksha you can see more more about the virtual labs. Mm -hmm. And when you click on the last before button, is uh, you can visit, you can see the virtual labs, and click on the explore, and it leads to the virtual lab content. So, mm -hmm. what is virtual lab? Virtual lab is nothing but it's. It's a helpful thing which is done for the digital resources which is provided by the government or provided by the uh, provided for the students, teachers, and even for the teachers, educators, etc. And here they are providing national education policy NEP 2020. This is for the envisions the development of the digital repository of this content of creation like uh, AR, VR simulation etc and uh, the virtual labs are used in most of the schools because they lack more uh, physical laboratory due to the uh, equipments or other sources so you can do virtual labs you can use virtual labs wherever you are okay. and underneath you here you can see virtual labs e-content here you can see grade 6 to 12th and all the experiments here so i'm going to take grade 11 click on the explore button you can see two two mediums one is hindi and another is english hindi is currently unavailable so we'll move on to english medium click on to the english medium and you can see uh, five sub five to six subjects max physics chemistry biology and computer science so let me go to biology click on the biology this leads to the new page of the biology lab manual of the class 11th on the right hand side you can see the number of experiments and i'm going to take uh, the experiments uh, experiment uh, detection of albumin in urine here you can see two things exercise pdf and the explanation resources so click on the detection of albumin this here you can see a link click on the link this leads to the virtual labs so here in virtual labs you you have a bunch of sets of things like theory procedure animation simulation video viva words resources and feedback and important words so let's see about the theory in theory you can see the objective of this experiment and even the theory of the content of this experiment like what is albumin or uh, what is the role of albumin in our body etc and at the end of this theory you can see the learning outcomes like what are the learning outcomes the students can know about this experiment or about this content next we'll go to the procedure procedure here the detection of albumin in urine is tested in two different tests 
one is sulfosalicylic acid and one is halostase so the materials requ materials required here and the procedure are two both different so we we can see the different procedures and materials required this is the and underneath you can see the simulator procedure which is performed through the online labs or the virtual labs even though in virtual labs it the test the test and its procedure are different and next you we can go to the animation animation is nothing but the video which is the same experiment which is shown in the video form okay let's see the video of albumin in urine sulfur salicylic acid test materials required test tube dropper test tube holder urine sample measuring cylinders 30% sulfur salicylic acid and burner procedure take 2 ml urine sample in a measuring cylinder from the urine sample bottle take a test tube and pour the urine in the test tube using a dropper take some sulfur salicylic acid few drops of sulfur salicylic acid in the test tube containing urine a whitish color appears in the solution using a test tube holder hold the test tube firmly and heat it gently upon a burner a whitish or cloudy turbid solution indicates the presence of albumin in heller's test materials required test tube dropper test tube holder urine sample measuring cylinders at concentrated nitric acid procedure take 5 ml concentrated nitric acid in a measuring cylinder from the reagent bottle the concentrated nitric acid in a test tube from take some urine from the urine sample bottle now incline the test tube and add sample of urine by means of a dropper along the inner side of the test tube so that it forms a layer over the nitric acid the presence of white ring at the junction of two layers indicates the presence of albumin in the urine So next is the video. I think the animation was clear. And next is the video. Here in this video, we have done the same experiment, but which we which was done in the physical laboratory, and we have taken a video shoot. Next about the viva. Viva was is nothing but uh, ten seven to ten questions MCQs. Here you can see the questions, and at the end you uh, have a submit and cancel button so click on uh, a, the answers and click on this click on any one of the answer or then submit button you will you can see if it's correct or not so if it's correct it will be in a green tick and if it's wrong it will be in cross mark with red and the next is the resources resources are nothing but the books and website of the same content uh, but different websites and uh, different informations or more informations about the same content next is the important uh, words so important words like turbid uh, here they have given turbid which is which means turbidity what is the meaning of the turbidity is nothing but cloudy or hazy and the at last it's the feedback uh, feedback is not, uh, for the uh, online labs or the virtual labs so that when you give the feedback the the we can we can put forward uh, more information or we can take more about this and make it more improved 
in manner. So at last we will go to the simulator. Here again detection of albumin in urine. This is the experiment. Here in this panel you can see uh, two types of tests. One is sulfosalicylic acid and one is Heller's test. So click on the sulfos and there is a reset button. Then click on sulfosalicylic acid. And here is an help button so that if you are confused or if you don't have what is an idea of this, just click on the help button. It's, it leads to the good and very, Im, Im, very improved uh, techniques. And we'll do now. They'll click on the sulfosalicylic acid and drag the dropper and place it in the 2 ml of uh, uh, urine sample. And click on the knob of the burner and drag the whole setup and keep it on the burner. And the time runs and you can see the changes in the test tube and there, there is an I button. You can see the inference. This is a cloudy turbid solution is the presence of albumin in it. Next, you can go to Heller's test. Here, uh, 2 ml of concentrator HNO3, that is nitric acid, is present. Drag and drop the urine sample into. You can see a white ring in between the two layers. So, here they again they have given an I button so that the presence of white ring in between the two layers is the presence of albumin in this. I hope that uh, it was clear about the simulator and even about the virtual labs. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Amrita Surya, for this uh, simulation. So, Dr. Ashpal, what would you say about this? Uh, you know, wonderful experiment. You yes, seen uh, on the definitely it was a wonderful experiment mm -hmm. and uh, it gives a learner a glimpse that if they don't have the physical laboratory mm -hmm. and even if they have physical laboratories mm -hmm. and before proceeding towards the physical laboratories, they can perform the experiment virtually. Mm -hmm. So, it will save their time and definitely they have uh, hands on before going to the uh, actual laboratories. So, right. definitely these type of resources on uh, Diksha are very helpful. Mm -hmm. So, they can um, uh, try them. Right. So, let us proceed for the next simulation. Yeah, definitely. All right. So, uh, we would like to invite on screen uh, Ms. Anakha S uh, from the same team of Amrita University. They will have uh, their simulations one by one, uh, you know, uh, to share with us. Let us explore this wonderful uh, augmented reality content and it will be beneficial for all the students. So, Ms. Anakha, you are there? Yes, sir. All right, please proceed. Thank you very much and good morning again. Thank you, sir. Very good morning to all. Is I audible, sir? Yes, please. Ah, okay, sir. Shall I, Shall, I, shall I explain? Yes, please. Please proceed. Ah, okay, sir. So, Ms. Anakha is the chemistry subject matter expert from Amrita University and uh, there are three uh, resource persons from Amrita University are with us today in this uh, webinar session. In the entire week, we are uh, conducting these sessions from Monday to Friday. So, be with us for the entire week. So, Ms. Anakha, you are ready now? Ah, uh, Yes, sir. Please proceed. Okay. Good morning to all. So, Surya has explained very clearly how to use Diksha platform to access the virtual lab, so I am not going in details. Mm -hmm. When you go to Diksha platform, this is how you see the whole page of virtual lab e-content. So first you, uh, so today I am going to explain on the chemistry experiment, which is crystals of copper sulfide contain water of crystallization for grade 10. So uh, in the virtual lab e-content, just click on explore. And here you can see two mediums, it is provided in Hindi and English medium. So click on English medium. Here are the subjects that is mathematics and science for grade 10. So click on science. So it goes to a new page that is science lab manual. So here you can see uh, different experience, 
experiments are provided here so click on the experiment that is 10th one crystals of copper sulfide uh, contains water of crystallization so uh, experiment pdf and the explanation resources are provided so click on the explanation resource So click on the link and it goes to a new page where the students can get the complete uh, knowledge about the virtual lab experience. Here the contents are theory, procedure, animation, video, simulator, viva voice, resource and feedback. So uh, in the theory content, it's, uh, they are mainly given the objective of the experiment that is to show the crystal of copper sulfide containing water of crystallization and next one is theory that is mentioned the whole concept of the particular experiment based on the NCRT and they are given the learning out outcomes based on the particular experiment and it goes to the procedure here you can see the materials required for the experiment with the images and the real lab procedure as well as the simulator procedure is also given then the precautions which the students want to take while uh, doing the real lab the animation and the real lab video of the particular experiment is given then viva was it's a set of questions there the students can actually perform uh, to test the self, it is a self assessment. So, uh, so after clicking the answers, you can submit here. So, you can see if the answer is correct, you can see a tick mark, if the answer is wrong, you can see a cross. So, after that, you can repeatedly doing until the students get uh, a understand on the topic or the particular experiment then resources resources means in the resource tab you can see the resources we are listed a resources uh, which is referred to prepare the content of the particular topic and last one is the feedback there you can share the feedback on the particular topic as well as about the virtual lab then finally I goes to the simulator uh, the experiment is determining of water of crystallization in copper sulfide so here you can see uh, instructions which is given for the student or the user to uh, do the experiment and a reset button uh, to do the experiment until they can understand and also a help button if the student is not understanding uh, by reading the instruction they can ask for the help so by clicking the help button you can see here uh, they are given the instruction how to do the experiment so first of all uh, go and click on the help button so drag and drop the cap of the bottle drag and drop the spatula then drag the spatula towards the burner then click on the knob of the burner so here you can see the copper sulfate is melting and uh, here the copper sulfate is dehydrating by losing the water uh, on the crystallization and changes the color from blue to white and click on the spatula and moves it to the drag to the water uh, wash glass so after sometimes you can see the uh, crystals changes from white to blue here the moisture content from the atmosphere readings and it changes to blue color so you can press on the reset button you can do the experiment again and again until the students understand the experiment so that's all about from my side I hope it was clear. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Anika, for this quick and easy 
uh, I must say the experiment as you can see uh, the substance you know changed color. So Dr. Yashpal, um, is it a kind of magic for the students? <laughs> 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 Definitely chemistry is always the magic <laughs> that you can see the structure of the chemical formula if we do heating or something that definitely is going to change and it's a magic. But the beauty of these experiment, a virtual lab experiment on Diksha is that you don't need to install any app. Mm -hmm. It will work seamlessly with any browser right. on your mobile phone, on your laptop, on mm -hmm. your desktop. So you can perform the experiment seamlessly anywhere. Any type of device we have and the uh, uh, interface will be uh, a compatibility. Yes, definitely. All right. Thank you very much. Let's move ahead and I would like to invite uh, Mr. Hariharan on screen. Uh, the biology subject matter expert from the Amrita University's team. Uh, Mr. Hari Haran uh, will have two experiments, two simulations uh, you, uh, to share with us. Uh, Mr. Hari Haran, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Pleasure to have you. I request you to please uh, share your screen and uh, you know, start demonstration because we have hardly 20 minutes and I, I, I think we have a total three uh, simulations you know, to be viewed on this session. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I could I quickly quit my experience. Please, please. So nice of you. So good morning to all. Can I scan? Can I share my screen? Yes, please. Go ahead. So he will show two experiments, and we have one more left. Uh, you know, I at last Miss Anakha will show one more uh, simulation. So I think this uh, session will give uh, uh, four or five uh, simulations to the students in today's yes. uh, series. So we are covering four or five on an average. Per day? Per day. Yes. yes, yes. All right. So, so from the different subject areas. All right. Okay, so, Mr. Haryanan, please. So, good morning to all. So, as per Amrita Surya and Anaga explained earlier, Diksha is a platform which is really helpful for learning learning things through online. The online for students whenever and wherever they are. So they can, they they are providing a virtual labs, virtual labs which is really helpful for learning the laboratory things, especially uh, especially for those who are not able to get the things uh, during the during the laboratory hours. So in this laboratory, in this virtual lab, e contents here we can see to uh, the grade six to twelve, and we can get uh, explore options in in by clicking the explore option. We can get we can get uh, get the access of English and Hindi mediums also. But um, as of now, we can provide uh, only in English medium. So I am going to perform a physics experiment from tenth class. So by clicking the English medium, we can get a mathematics and science subjects. And now I am clicking the science. Which leads to the Diksha e lab manual portal, and on the and on the left side we can get the list of the experiments. So now, as of now, I am going to perform the experiment magnetic field lines of current carrying straight wire. By clicking the um, exper about exper about experiment. Here I can see I can get the experiment PDF as well as the explanation resources. So I'm going to perform simulation. So I'm going to click the uh, explanation resources. Scroll up. So we can get the screen as like and we can get the link to the link to perform the simulation panel by clicking the link which leads to the magnetic field lines arrow uh, current carrying conductor conductor panel which shows all the contents like theory procedure simulator viva voice and uh, feedbacks so in theory we can we can we can we, we can include all the theoretical aspects of the procedures uh, aspect of the F experiments and we can we can what we can do and what we cannot do all the things are uh, present in the theory as well as the pr procedure we can provide real lab as well as the simulation procedure the, and observation particle we can pr we can place all the things uh, included which we are not doing and which we are all going to do so i am going performing the simulator procedure now okay here we can see the controls which shows the current click the controls we can show it, it shows the current distance magnetic field and object and change the current de detection and under the under the panel control panel we can we can see the instructions and observation by following the instructions we can start the simulation when we increase the current and the distance and decrease the distance 
it will show the magnetic field it will show the magnetic field value as the as tesla and by using the by using by using the magnetic field tesla we can get the answers like this when we click when we increase the current we can we can get the magnetic field arrow which is which is proportional to the object and when we increase the when we increase the distance it will also show the magnetic value in tesla followed by the observation we can get the, the we can get the observations like the, you will observe the magnetic field lines then the direction the direction field of perpendicular conductor the magnetic field acting object then the field increases as object then the detections and so on then we click uh, this is the, ch con the change control current direct di the direction we can click to we can click to change the current direction so this is the viva part which is which is really needful for students to understand the uh, understand the simulator so thank you all thank you very much mr hari haran uh, and what's your next uh, simulation my next simulation is area of trapezium okay maximum okay as uh, uh, mr hari haran said that he is going to show the uh, the area of trapezium we have seen such uh, you know problems to be uh, solving by you know making the diagrams and uh, uh, making some diagonals areas so i think uh, such kind of content will help uh, the students to you know play with maths itself because math is always always a subject of uh, game yeah definitely because math is not uh, the boring subject in your mm. because you can also play the simulation uh, in the virtual lab not mm. in mathematics you mm. will also find the simulation during uh, these uh, webinars mm -hmm. till 30th of uh, this december we will be demonstrating from the languages also from biology physics chemistry mathematics right. so different subjects that we have in the virtual lab which right. are available on diksha all right let's watch this mathematics simulation mr hari haran please proceed yes sir yes sir so as of now i am going to present the max experiment uh, sim simulation of max ex experiment of area of trapezium hmm. It, it, in this in this experiment it is in grade 9 we can click the english medium again we can get the subjects like english science and um, in mathematics click the mathematics it will lead to the diksha portal and and on the right side we can get the list of the experiments by clicking the area of trape trapezium which is placed in 25th it shows the activity pdf and explanation resources I'm going to perform the simulation. So I'm going to click the activity trapezium, scroll up. We can get the link. Click on that. It will lead to the uh, actual port of the uh, area of trapezium. In this, we can get theory, procedure, as well as animation, simulator, self-evaluation, reference, and feedback. In this procedure, in this theory, we can get objective, theory, proof, and as well as the example and in this procedure we can we can provide materials required procedure and as well as the what is we are going to do in simulator uh, so what are the observations and results etc and in animation it will show the area it, it will show the demonstration of simulation what we are going to do So now I'm going to do the simulator. So this is the prerequisite knowledge of the map, the area of trapeze, trapezium. So what are, what are the rules and what are, what are the things which is needed for this experiment, etc. So now I'm going to click start. So these are the instructions which are followed. First I'm going to draw a trapezium which shows the A, B, C, D followed by the instructions I'm going to draw another trapezium rotate it and I perform so 
after completing the uh, after com after completing this step i get the observation portal which shows the preview and next so it demonstrate the abcd of the trapezium is proportional to the bspc by clicking the next we we can see the uh, we can see the equations and by clicking the um, and by clicking the next option we can get the con conclusion then we can restart again we can perform once again the simulator then for self evaluation we can get the questions to answer then references and for, uh, where we can take the where we can refer and for the websites etc thank you all right thank you very much uh, for your quick uh, uh, demonstration of these uh, simulations so i would request uh, ms anakha uh, kindly uh, show your uh, last simulation of today's uh, webinar session in which we are discussing demonstration of virtual labs experiments on diksha and e parshala augmented reality content and uh, i would request all the viewers dr paul uh, with you that if you have any questions or queries please do ask you can send your questions and comments on our youtube live streaming uh, we are here uh, to answer your queries as much as possible definitely we will take the questions mm -hmm. if they have any and right. uh, i love that if they also tried along with the session so <laughs> that the, the queries will be solved right over here right please please all right miss anika are you ready ah uh, yes sir please go ahead okay sir Let's move to the language lab. So here is the Diksha virtual lab portal. So click on the class eight and click on explore. Here two mediums are shown. So click on English medium. Click English. So we can select tense conversion activity. Click on explanation resource and click on link. Here you can see as well uh, other subjects. You can see here we provided theory procedure simulation, uh, verbal words, re reference, and feedback, etc. So let's go to the simulation. Uh, click on start icon. Here they are asked about the user information, so you can type your name and click on start icon. So today we are going to convert simple past tense to past continuous tense. So the sentence is Carol cleaned a shelf. So it's a simple past tense. So convert into past continuous tense. Oh, here so many words are given in the word depository. So you can drag the words which you want. So the past continuous tense is Carol was cleaning a shelf. So you can submit. So the answer is correct. So next question you can do. Drag from the word depository. So just submit. So you can see the main verbs, helping verbs, everything is explained here if the answer is correct you can see here they are given so by using this virtual diksha virtual lab the students can learn the concept of uh, grammar concept by using this so that's all from my side thank you all right thank you very much and i uh, would like to thank uh, all three of you on behalf of ciet ncert uh, ms amrita surya uh mr hari haran and ms anakha as the team of amrata university thank you very much for joining us for this uh, for these wonderful simulations uh, you have shown in the entire session thank you very much uh, let's proceed um, dr paul we have hardly 5 uh, minutes and uh, we are uh, you know getting response uh, through our youtube channel so the very first question for you from badri narayan ji is when will be available in all languages which is a very pertinent uh, question in this session <laughs> <laughs> so definitely uh, cit ncert is mandate is to develop into as many as languages so currently uh, if we say this uh, e parshala augmented reality app the content is available only in english from the next session definitely we will have in two three languages especially in hindi and one language is that we will choose 
and in virtual lab we currently have the content more from the english and then the hindi languages which is currently available and definitely we will develop in other languages also all right thank you very much badri narayan ji for this wonderful question and i'm sure aapko aapke prashn ka jawab mila hoga hum prayas mein lage hue hain prayas roke nahi hai ye athak prayas hain jinhe bahut jald aap sarthak hota hua dekhenge आप भी जो यदि कंट्रीब्यूट करना चाहते हो तो जरूर हमारे साथ कंट्रीब्यूट करने के लिए यदि आप सब तैयार होंगे मुझे लगता है जुड़ेंगे तो जल्द जल्दी हम चल तो पड़े हैं हमें काफिला बनाना है तो आप सब जुड़े ऐसा ऐसी मेरी आशा है द नेक्स्ट वेरी क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम मार्टिन जॉन सर डू यू हैव एनी सोर्स फॉर सोशल साइंस यस डेफिनेटली वी आर ऑल्सो डिवेलपिंग द कंटेंट इन सोशल साइंसिस स्पेसिफिकली इन जोग्राफी uh area because uh, 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 the people uh, we have demand from the learners also and we will be taking that one all right thank you very much uh, for this answer uh, to uh, for answering uh, mr john and in fact uh, mm. i would like to add that uh, in geography also mm. and in biology we have started one series of using the augmented reality and virtual reality sources within the video and uh, i think about seven videos which are available mm. on our dts channel and diksha portals all right thank you very much uh, dr paul uh, kishori surya sent a question uh, should we install uh, the application from play store yes definitely it is available for android users and i said earlier any mobile phone having the version more above the 4.1 mm -hmm. the app is very much compatible with them they can install okay. and give us as feedback and the next question is uh, from accounts anju kumari ji sent a que uh, question regarding accounts when can we have it yeah uh, in accounts we have the content in video format uh, in uh, in audio format also but uh, in uh, currently we don't have in uh, augmented and virtual labs but definitely we will think about this one all right so please be with us uh, anju ji you will get your uh, account subject very soon if it is not available kindly check again uh, rupa d sent a question can you please suggest a link for science experiments related to topics Okay so as we said that uh, this Diksha mobile app and portal host almost all type of content even the augmented reality content that you have seen we have 3D rendered video format which is exactly map along with the chapters in the textbooks so one thing i would like to make it clear that the content which is uh, we have shown from the e partshala augmented reality app it is it is mapped with the textbook and virtual lab experiments are mapped with the manuals that we have laboratory manuals that ncert has developed for various classes so we have mapped the content for virtual lab along with the laboratory manuals and e partshala content with the uh, ncert's textbooks and all these contents are available on the diksha portal and mobile app you don't need to go anywhere just install the diksha mobile phone if you don't have the phone just go on the portal and you can browse any content which is available along with the textbooks also all right thank you very much uh, Nandini ji I request Nandini Ramesh uh, I would request you to please uh, watch this session again on YouTube so that you may get idea uh, or the flow chart how to open virtual lab uh, on Diksha portal uh, it is already explained uh, by our uh, resource persons so I think sir mujhe lagta hai ki hamare jo bhi viewers hain they are very inclined towards this content and they are uh, loving it kyunki questions ki itni bauchhar ho rahi hai ki mujhe lagta nahi hai ki hum in sab ke jawab aaj de payenge बट हम कोशिश ये करेंगे कि हमारी ये जो एक छोटी सी कोशिश है इसे हम और बड़ा बना सके फिर भी मैं कुछ कोशिश करता हूँ एक्सप्लेनेशन इन रीजनल लैंग्वेजेस विल बी मोर इफेक्टिव ये मुझे लगता है एक सजेशन है फ्रॉम विद्याधर म्यागोती जी का और ये गूगल प्ले स्टोर पर जैसे आपने कहा नेक्स्ट टाइम यूर एक्सप्लेन विद टाइटल ऑन द स्क्रीन सर प्लीज डेफिनेटली Uh, since uh, these programs are also telecast on pme vidya channel so you will find the link of the emails which is given over there and the ivrs number you can call these ivrs number if you got any problem any time all right thank you very much so i think uh, all your questions will be answered uh, through these uh, uh, sessions please be with us tomorrow for the uh, next session kal kya karne wale hain kal ke bare mein kuch pata and i request you to please conclude this session Uh, definitely tomorrow we will again performing some more simulations from augmented reality and we will also uh, uh, again shown uh, 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 as already i have shown all uh, today also but again from where uh, from play store how you can install this app and from the diksha from the very much beginning that how you can actually browse these resources so today we demonstrated the resources of using augmented reality as uh, Uh, if you say in uh, national education policy it is envisaged that the resources 
from the various formats like uh, augmented reality, virtual reality, virtual lab, AI should also be embedded with the classroom teaching learning processes. Mm -hmm. And we have NCRT is always uh, at the forefront of developing these resources. And this app is launched, Eparchala AR, and it's available to download and you can browse the resources. Currently, it is for class 9th and 10th. And as far as virtual labs are concerned, you can find all these virtual labs on Diksha and it is mapped with all the laboratory manuals of the NCRT. You just browse through any browser or you can install the Diksha app and you can have all these resources. And tomorrow also we will demonstrating some more resources from the different subject areas. All right. Thank you very much for these uh, information re regarding the upcoming sessions. So please be with us throughout the week. Today is the second session of this webinar. Three more days left. And definitely. definitely there are so many simulations, interesting content for you. So please be available at the same time or same channel uh, and be with us. Thank you very much, Dr. Paul. And you came here with these wonderful things. I must say uh, wonderful content on behalf of all the viewers and all the students out there. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much, Rahul. Thank you. And thank you all. हमारा ये सेशन वेबिनार का हम यहीं समाप्त करेंगे पूरे कंट्री से आप हमारे साथ जुड़े उसके लिए बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया बहुत आभार कल फिर जुड़े तमाम अपने जो सवालत हैं उन्हें जरूर अपने साथ लेकर आएं और हमारे साथ साथ आप इन सिमुलेशंस को करेंगे तो और ज्यादा बेहतर हो पाएगा हमारा सेशन हमारा ये जो प्रयास है ये सार्थक होगा इसे और ज्यादा बढ़ाना है कल फिर जुड़िएगा फिलहाल मुझे और मेरी पूरी टीम को दीजिए इजाजत नमस्कार